Yeah. Y'all know what it is. Listen, I, I just I just want to before we even get started with with the special guest here at the winners table, it's your boy. Are they actually trying to? Okay, I don't know. Well, anyway, we let that do it. Listen, I am sitting here with the winner uh, at the winners' table, my man Phoenix. Man, listen, man, congratulations. So, first of all, that feeling right now, just what's happening, what's going through your mind, what's what's what's, you know, what I'm saying, talk talk to us, man. Man, it just it it feels like. It feels like it's a whole bunch of weight off my shoulders, but an explosion just happened. I just dropped so much energy, and it was all because I was scared of how this battle was going to go. Yes, yes. It hit, like, bros did what he always does. He comes consistent, and that, and because I know he always does this, and he always has those moments, it kicked my energy up, and it, it paid out well, so I'm feeling nothing but relief and hype right now. Facts, big facts. So I I want to now with everything that's happening, it's like basically you understood that this isn't one of those ones where I can play around. So what was that final thing that kind of got you locked in to say, you know what? It's do or die. And I'm about to rise to the occasion. So like if you can what was that last thought that said, you know what? I'm here. Because I, I I noticed the way you entered the room. And it was a look on your face that was like, it's time for war, I'm ready for war. So like just kind of take us through that process from the time where you were kind of afraid and kind of just like full of emotions till stone face war ready. Kind of talk to us about it. Let me see. Well, when the battle first got announced to me, I was already going through a whole bunch of stuff in life. Like I was yes. getting comboed from every corner. And so battle rap is one of the main things that gives me my serotonin. Like, yeah. I come in here, I spill my thoughts. As somebody else gets mad, so it makes me feel better. They're getting their emotions out. We rapping and just enjoying the environment. Yeah. And, I don't do that every single day. So I got to work for my happiness. I got to go and get my happiness. And because of the time where I've oversaturated myself, he went and be, going into this battle, he had the best chance to smoke me. I was not on it. I was not structured. I was not prepared. And my mental was playing pinball on the hardest thing ever. Out of nowhere, I got like something told me Tom was running out. Like I didn't have Tom. I, I always had Tom in my life, but that yes. door of opportunity was closing. Yes, I understand. Uh -huh. I understand that. So just so now, like I, I don't even know where this was. Okay, I'm I'm an old school anime, so I'm still like Dragon Ball Z. But this was like a Super Saiyan moment, yes. you know. To where now I think about I think about Gohan's transformation. I think about and that's what it that's what it looked like to me. To say, you know what? No, it's time for me to finally get it, is now or never. And then it that moment happened. So I know this just happened, and I know it's just like, all right, I'm still trying to, you know, get things processed. But is that is that power? Is that something that you're able to or am looking forward to kind of utilizing in the next round? Like I'm a, I'm a catapult off this moment to continue forward or is your process more like this particular opponent, this is what had to happen next. We're going to start from the, the drawing board. You know, if that makes sense. It makes sense. Okay. Hmm. I want to take I want to take the energy and the comfort that I have right now and apply it into my writing. That shit is my actual personality outside of rap. Yes. Okay. So so it's it's more of a uh, more of authentic type thing, which of course you always are one of the the most unique you know performers out here, and that's why people gravitate to you because you are unique in yourself, but you also fire. Like you are fire, bro. I don't want to be an anime battle rapper. I want to be an anime character in battle rap. 
Like Naruto yeah. is the leader of the village. He's trying. He, he wants everybody to look up to him as a beacon of hope. And he came from everybody not believing into him to yeah. so showing that he's one of the strongest people in the village. I want to do that same thing, and I want to tie everybody in together. In the Listen, uh, I am absolutely in support of that. So, kind of speak to just a little bit, just a little bit, just kind of like you you mentioned for like mental health and just making sure that um, that you were straight and the struggles of that. If you can kind of like speak to the people just kind of outside of battle rap, just kind of like the real life of who you are outside of this, you just kind of like speak to the the process of you mentioned I have to find my happiness. I have to find the things that you that you are deserving of. Just speak to that struggle. Speak to your your ability to overcome it, you know, to, to have those small victories and just just kind of speak to that. I uh it's probably going to be the hardest gem I drop on you. Uh huh. I'm, I'm not nobody more than the next person. I just made myself to be. Um, if anything, I consider myself a brother or sister of everybody on the planet. I'm just not blood related. Uh -huh. With that being said, everybody got a different goalpost, different eyes, and different motives. If y'all gonna look, if y'all gonna find peace. Find it with winning within yourself. It don't matter how big the win is. It don't because it started off with me not knowing nobody and being hype off of science fairs that I won randomly or the one time I got a 90 on a test to battle rap and having people support me for it. I didn't even think I was going to make it this far. Yes. So you you are absolutely here, man. Again, you are going to the second round. So congratulations. Let everybody know where they can find you. Hey, yo, Instagram. Um, be, um MFH underscore Phoenix underscore Uzumaki. Um, my TikTok is Phoenix underscore Uzumaki. Same thing on Facebook. Season 7 Legend Killers. That's what's up, man. Listen, it's your boy, MFH Dante. You MFH, you know what it is, man. We appreciate y'all, man. It's a great city. Key to the City Tournament, Volume 2, 2024. We got to win this table. Phoenix is up in the building, man. We appreciate you, bro. Yes, great job. All right, man. We out of here. Find us on all streaming platforms. Oh, yeah. Happening on social media. And subscribe to us on YouTube. And talk my credo.